Dr. Leslie Ramsamy, who is heading the project to establish a local pharmaceutical manufacturing plant, recently told the newsroom that with the assistance of the Indian government, Guyana will strengthen its healthcare services. India is the world's largest pharmaceutical manufacturer. One of the, the, the problems we, we faced during the COVID um, period and still do is getting enough vaccines for our people on a timely basis. Um, and so this is an area that we want to address. Last Thursday, Vice President Dr. Bharat Jagdio met with India's Health and Family Welfare Minister and according to a tweet by the minister, issues of bilateral importance in the health sector, including the creation of manufacturing hubs of vaccines, therapeutics, diagnostics and handholding, and training of the medical workforce were discussed. Guyana's aim is to become a manufacturer of medications and vaccines. He said that when the AIDS epidemic became a health threat, there was no access to life-saving medications. It's not a new need for Guyana. It is not a new ambition for Guyana. We have had that for a long time. Dr. Ram Sami also noted that a timeline for the plant to be established is still in the works and explained that Guyana is first building its capacity through the training of healthcare professionals. Our ambition is to have vaccine production in Guyana. I'm not talking about COVID vaccine, I'm talking about a vaccine manufacturing plant in Guyana. We're talking about expanding our present capacity for pharmaceutical production so we could have it done in Guyana for Guyana and other countries. We're talking about expanding um, other medical supplies manufacturing in Guyana. President Dr. Irfan Ali stated his own intention to upgrade the country's legislative and regulatory framework while investing in the necessary training and development research towards establishing a vaccine production facility. Additionally, Dr. Ali previously said that Guyana will be seeking to develop the framework and infrastructure to not only build a similar facility like BioNTech's mRNA vaccine factory, but to encourage investors in medical research and development. Lazina Yearwood reporting for the newsroom.